Okay, that took about five minutes for it to equalize out. As you can see, there is a column of water in the half inch pipe above the effluent line, above the water line. And we've got nothing dripping out of the Easy Tank Reservoir. So let's go ahead and add As you can see, now that the water level is climbing, the tank is adding disinfectant to the pump tank as the water level rises. So as the water level is coming up, we're adding disinfectant, which gives it the most amount of contact time. It's the absolute best way to disinfect. We're going to add a little bit more water and we'll turn the water hose off. As the water level is rising, if you'll notice our column of water, get it focused in here, the column of water in our pipe will also rise. It always stays above the water level until that reservoir goes empty. I can see that, but it stays exactly above the water, so there's about two and a half inches of column in the sensing pipe, and it's going to stay right above because it's under a vacuum. We're controlling the air in the sensing pipe and we're letting the reservoir have air. So the rest of that pipe is just full of air and that goes up to the reservoir and it lets it have a little air and it dispenses disinfectant into the tank with no moving parts and no venturi. We're going to cut the water off. That's a lot of water. We put about a day's flow of water in the tank in just a, a minute or two. So 
it's going to take a few minutes for the easy tank to uh, equalize under a full vacuum. And then it will stop dripping. You can see it slowing down. We're just about equalized. All right, we'll go ahead and uh, show you what happens when, at nighttime when your sprinkler pump kicks in, your pump tank level is gonna drop. So we've installed the pump in there uh, with a float. There's gonna be some more equipment in there as far as floats, but we didn't put all that in there. So anyway, so let's kick the, uh, let's kick the pump tank on. So the pump tank, the pump tank begins to pump down, and you'll watch this column of water as the, as the pump starts pulling the water level down. It pulls the column of water down with it. Now what's happening is the hole that the disinfecting was just dripping out of is pulling air in. So we're maintaining our vacuum. And this thing is going to reset itself. See that? Now. The column of water is going to come back down to where it's supposed to be. And then it's just going to sit there and it's going to wait for the next water from the day. And it's just going to stay in a vacuum lock right now. It can wait for weeks. Uh, it can wait for months or it can wait till the next day. It's just going to sit there awaiting new water to come into the tank. And, uh, and that's your new disinfection device.